Hey guys, what's up, what it do? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Casey. If you are new, please take a second, go down below, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you don't miss when I post a new video. Welcome back to another episode of Self Care Sunday. If you're new here, I do have a full playlist on my channel where I curate all the videos that I do on Self Care Sunday. There's pamper routines, there's self love and self discovery tips. There's some videos of me just talking about things that I've gone through in my life and how I am using those to better myself for real self care. I'll put the link to the full playlist down below if you wanna check it out. So we are doing a really fun video today. I always get questions on how to keep the bikini area smooth, bright, um, discoloration free. And honestly, I have a lot of products that I really like, but today I'm gonna to give you guys the ultimate pamper routine for your cookie. There's a lot of spas nowadays that actually provide this service, but if you don't wanna go out and spend the money to do so, you can definitely do it yourself at home. This is something that you only wanna do maybe one time a week. You could even do it less than that, to be honest. I've always wanted to do a video like this, but I just wasn't sure how to do it considering I can't show my actual bikini on camera. But I saw another YouTuber, I forgot her name, but I'll put her name on the screen. I saw her do this video on her hand to demonstrate how you would use these products on your bikini area. So I figured I'd do that as well. So she is my inspiration for how I'm going to demonstrate this video. I don't want it to come off as though I came up with the idea on my own. So even though I'm gonna be doing the same demonstration method as her, all the products that I'm using are gonna be different. All the products that I use in this video will also be linked down below for you guys to find. So let's get right into it. All right, so for First things first, this is totally optional, but if you do like to remove your hair in your bikini area, I suggest doing that before doing this vajayshul. You can do this the same day, but if you have sensitive skin down there, I recommend waxing or shaving a few days before doing this vajayshul. So you guys should already know, I love to sugar wax. So this is the sugar paste that I use at home when I do it myself. Demonstrating on my hand, like I mentioned earlier, the first thing you wanna do before you wax is clean the area. So I just used a baby wipe to cleanse my skin. Next, I'm going to use some baby powder to dry the skin because before you wax, you want the skin to be completely dry, free of sweat and water or any type of residue. I typically just take the entire tub and throw it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. And I also use this applicator that comes with it. You can definitely just use your hands if you prefer. For sugaring, you always want to apply in the opposite direction of hair growth and then pull in the same direction as the hair growth. I do have a few videos on my channel where I show this process in detail. I will link them down below. So next up, we want to cleanse and I'm going to use my Honey Pot Foaming Feminine Wash. This is the only feminine wash that I use down there. You only want to use it externally. You do not want to shove the soap inside of you. It's extremely gentle though. It's 100% natural. It has some great ingredients like lavender and apple cider vinegar, which are going to help balance your pH and just make you feel nice and clean and fresh down there. After massaging it in, you just want to take some warm water and rinse it off. Typically, you would just do this inside the shower. So next up, after rinsing that off and drying it, we're gonna get into the real pamper part. If you do any type of hair removal down there, it is super important to exfoliate the skin. So next up, I'm going to grab my my Dr. Dennis Gross facial steamer, but you can use any steamer of your choice or you can just do this in the shower and let the steam from the shower get to your bikini area. And I'm gonna also use this Yoni Polish by Solveneer. Exfoliating is super important after any type of hair removal because it helps to get rid of ingrown hairs and prevent razor bumps. And it also just leaves the skin feeling nice and smooth. So again, I'm just using the facial steamer to mimic the steam inside the shower. If you don't wanna do it inside the shower, you could totally also just like lean in front of the steamer to let the steam get to your bikini area, however you wanna do it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the Yoni Polish. This has literally become my favorite scrub for after waxing or shaving and just for polishing my Yoni or my little cookie area. It has some great ingredients in it. It has sugar crystals, of course, to exfoliate the dead skin. It has shea butter and coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, and of course it has turmeric, which is what gives it that yellow shade. And it has lavender and tea tree oil, which are both really good for healing, soothing, and anti-inflammatory properties. So this scrub is not only good to use to help 
prevent ingrown hairs and to soothe the skin after shaving, but it's also really good to get rid of discoloration or uneven texture that you may already have from previous waxing or shaving mistakes. Using it consistently over time, you can definitely get rid of old dark marks or hyperpigmentation that you might suffer from. I know I personally used to be extremely self-conscious about my inner thighs or my bikini area being a little darker. So this incorporated into my routine has definitely helped to make it look and feel a lot better. If you have sensitive skin, like I said, I highly recommend doing this a few days after waxing or shaving because you don't wanna irritate your skin. Also, if you have more sensitive skin, I recommend wetting the skin a lot before putting on the scrub just so that it's not as harsh and the crystals kind of start to melt. So when you rub it onto your skin, it's not as abrasive. Me personally, my skin is pretty tough down there. So just the steam alone helps to soften my skin enough for the scrub to not irritate it. Next up is another really fun part. We're going to do a bikini mask. This is totally not an essential thing to do, but it's fun and you can definitely see the results if you do this over time. This is the Pretty Cookie Bikini Batter by Sweet Cookies. As you guys can see, it kind of starts off as a powder form, similar to like a bentonite clay mask. I don't want to waste too much of this product because I love it so much and I'm just putting it on my hand for demonstration. So I just poured a little bit on the cap and if you have sensitive skin, you can add water or if you have pretty tough skin or you just want a stronger treatment, you can use apple cider vinegar. There aren't really exact measurements for this. You just want to combine the water or apple cider vinegar with the powder until it becomes a pasty form like this. You can definitely use your hands to apply this, but I'm just gonna use my little mask applicator. So this product also has turmeric in it, which is what gives it that bright color. And turmeric, again, is just really good for brightening and evening the skin. It also has kaolin clay, which is an extremely mild but effective exfoliator. Because it's so mild and gentle, it's really good to use in the bikini area. It will also help to get rid of dead skin. It also absorbs impurities from your pores, which leaves your skin feeling soft. And those are literally the only two ingredients in this mask, which makes it really simple and gentle for, to use on your bikini area. So because it is like a clay mask, you just want to let it dry. I like to let it sit for at least 15 to 20 minutes and let it harden. And then as you can see, uh, it will harden and become kind of like a rock form. And then you just want to take some warm water to rinse it off. This isn't really necessary to do that often. I would recommend maybe doing this once every two weeks, even once a month. The scrub I would use between two to three times a week, really just depending on the condition of your skin and how sensitive your skin is. You can also alternate between the scrub and the mask if you want to. It's not necessary to do them both in the same routine. I just wanted to show you guys both options. So next, after rinsing that off and drying the skin, I'm going to tone the area and I like using this PFB Vanish Defense Serum. It's like a little roll-on serum and it's formulated to help reduce the appearance of dark spots caused by ingrown hairs, razor berms, or bumps. You can also use it as a preventative thing if you are a regular waxer or shaver like myself. And I like to use this literally every day after I get out the shower. If I had to pick one product that really changed the game for me, I would definitely say this one. If you use it consistently, you will see your skin just glow and brighten. Even if you have dark marks or hyperpigmentation that have been there for years, this will help to brighten them. So last but not least, that Vanish PFB serum can be a little drying on the skin, so we're going to follow up with an oil. So this is the Souvenir Eve's Garden Yoni Oil. This is another great product just for helping to encourage a smoother surface on your yoni after hair removal. It also helps to get rid of ingrown hairs, razor bumps, and it helps to lighten dark spots over time with consistent use. It also just leaves the skin looking so hydrated and silky, and it leaves a nice floral scent as well. So that's it, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. My hand feels super soft right now. And so imagine doing this routine on your bikini area. I know it seems like a lot of products, but every single one of these products has their own purpose. Like I said, all the products that I use will be linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this. And hopefully I will see you guys all in my next video.